Today, DSM-7 release candidate is available. Now this isn't the real code, this is a pre-release, so don't make any assumptions about the performance or the behavior you're about to see, but let's get started with a DS-1621XS Plus. That's a ZND based system. And here's the DS-1618. I've got one of each, one's older than the other, and I've got a separate tab spawned for each. So let's get started. I go to setup and we do manual install. Same thing in the other one. We're gonna do setup, manual install. Why am I at the screen? Because I reset them both to factory defaults. They have no data on there, all data is evacuated, and we're gonna go to the manual approach and just browse our way to the file. Here's the file, open. Nice little warning there. And then let me kick that off on the other one as well. Pretty straightforward stuff. They make it crazy easy and very evident. So now I just wait. Back to the first one, it's already at 9%. Second one, catching right up. So I'll be back in a bit when this thing's done. All right, here we go. Okay, so you wanna make sure you get the right one. So, okay, in the cookies, change this to 7.0. And uh, Okay, for the 1621. Hmm. So under find, that's knowledge.com. I'll call it DS1618. Okay, there's the new UI. So I'm gonna use this opportunity for not finding the uh, download I need right now for the 1621 uh, to not worry about it. Okay. And it'll give me a chance to uh, compare the two UIs. Interesting. Uh, don't actually want to migrate them, but in this case, I've already nuked all data on there, so that's fine. All right, so now we wait for that one to crank along. So it's interesting that the compatibility check doesn't happen until later, right? Earlier, uh, I kicked them off. Later, we get a warning. It's fine. All right, so here's the one that's done, new, and here's the old. Kind of done with the download center. So this is a dramatically new UI. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video now. Finished pretty quickly. I filled that in. I'm gonna skip the quick connect. All right, so here's the differences in the UI. Okay, so they've changed the workflow. 
and they're jumping right into create storage pool and volume. So I like that. Yeah, very nice. So the old way, you kind of had to hunt around a little, and it tells you what to do. The new way walks you right to what to do to create your first storage pool. Notice they recommend that for beginners. Add different drives of different sizes in the future. So uh, I guess I'll stick with that. Call it something like that. But uh, yeah, that's fine. Notice that's optional. Okay, 7.3 is what I'm going to end up with. Okay, let's see what that looks like in the previous UI. Whoa. All right, this is quite different already. So yeah, this is definitely a uh, significant change. Higher flexibility, multiple volumes. All right, well. So here, and we can leave that alone. Aha, allocated size, I'm gonna click on max. Got a little information box here. Um, but yes, it's just typing in that number for me basically. A volume description, guess I'll pass on that. All right, so now you've seen what that looks like, and that's gonna chug away in the background. Head back here, hit next. Kind of having us do a drag and drop operation here. not listed, that is surprising. Yeah, again, surprising. I need to look into that. I've got a video of me assembling it. I know all the drive types that are in there. The drives were provided by Synology actually, so this is a bit surprising. So HDD, SSD settings. Hmm. So yeah, the workflow has changed quite a bit for creating your first storage pool, and then volume. And now you'll see I've got a pool, but we need to create a volume. Okay, it's ready on max. All right, and it's creating. Let's see what the UI looks like for a background creation, optimizing and taking a while here. 16 hours, all right, on this one. Uh, we don't have an estimate yet, but yeah, I'm liking the new UI. Um, look at this, they've added a uh, kind of walkthrough after you're done with the basics of setting up your first storage pool. So I'm going to click on that. We can get notified. That's cool. Let's see if back arrow works. Probably not. 
Yeah, that wasn't a good idea. Let's see what forward arrow does. Okay, the new UI is handling arrowing pretty well. Um, but I lost my, you know, way through the wizard there. Okay. Anyhow, um, yeah, we're up, we're healthy. There's a task going on. Package Center has a red dot. Active Insight. All right. Looks like there's only one. So it's taking care of that now. Hey, how are we doing on this one? And a little warning, it might affect performance. All righty. All right, the package is done now. All right, what else would I need to see here? Well, this is like an overnight run, right? I don't need to wait for it to, uh, to finish. I think I've kind of seen enough. If we peek into Storage Manager, though, we'll probably see progress here. Yep. So you just leave this progress bar running until uh, it's done tomorrow on both of these. So I think this uh, comparison went pretty well. And uh, let's do side by side. Okay, old on the left, new on the right. Let's hit refresh so it might look a little different. So it resize those windows accordingly because I hit refresh. And it's a little bit tight to try to run it in that narrow resolution, so not ideal. <laughs> okay, file station not up yet, right? That makes sense. Just a quick peek here. Okay, that's all the networking stuff and the under the covers. Um, they're both progressing. They both have a CPU that's doing something. Um, Synology's working. Synology's working well. It's interesting. A little difference in the system health there. Let's have a look at uh, the changes there in control panel. Let's maximize that. All right, so now it looks like we default right into advanced mode on the right. Maybe Synology is getting, uh, you know, tired of people calling for support or something because they couldn't find something. I don't know. But anyhow, that's a change. Um, I'm enjoying these, looking at these little bits and pieces, right, and the, and the differences. Uh, to me, that's fun. So, yeah, you're going to do the same, I'm sure. We can go back here. Aha, uh -huh. they've changed that. So clicking on that gives you this. Looks quite different on the right. Go back to Storage Manager and Storage Manager. And uh, just maximize it. So there you have it. Both are working hard on three drives. We're waiting for the storage pool to get to 100%. Hopefully you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you for visiting. Take your try. IT at home. Bye for now.